Hello my friends, it is Ben's day. I'm headed there right now. I'm gonna take you guys along. We're gonna see what we can find today. It is a Sunday, it is rainy and cold, and I'm not super early. I'll probably get there around 10 o'clock. So let's see what we can find today. I'm super excited. My last Ben's trip was actually really good. I will share a haul with you guys soon um, about that one. So, let's head there. Let's see what we can let's see what we can find, what we can dig up today. I've got my protein shake. I've got my new water bottle that I stole from my sister. <laughs> Thank you, Maddie. Um, a walla. I've been wanting one of these and I love it. And this is a cool trick. Oh my gosh. This little thing right here, hopefully I don't spill it. That's a straw. So you can just drink it like this. Ah, so nice. Anyways, I am 20 weeks pregnant as of yesterday, so I'm halfway there. Can you believe it? So crazy, I can't believe it, honestly. Um, I'm starting to feel her move more, so it's so exciting and so cute. Um, yeah, that's that's what's been going on. Just pregnant life and being at home. Going on. We're gonna head to the bins, which I love because it keeps my cost of goods so low. A dollar to two dollars. Um, is what I'm generally paying for these items. And then I flip them online on eBay and Poshmark. And that allows me to accept offers that I normally wouldn't want to accept if I were to be paying regular Goodwill prices, $7, $10, so-and-so. So my my bins are my favorite place. We're gonna head there. I need to get a sandwich first because I am gonna keep it with me um, while I'm at the bend, so when I'm hungry, I can just eat that and take a break. Um, but yeah, let's head there. Secured the goods, circular goodness. I have been obsessed with this bagel shop since I've been pregnant. I just can't, I can't get enough, apparently. Um, that'll be, be my lunch for later because I am at the bins for so long I have to bring some food otherwise I have to leave because I'm starving so I like to bring food um, that I can take a break and eat you know I have my banana I have my sandwich I have my protein shake I should be good to go pregnancy is wild and I'm hungry every 20 minutes or I'm not hungry all day so we'll see how the day goes we are here it's not super busy yet so that's really good let's see what we can find today all right, I've been here like 45 minutes and I found some really good stuff so far. These are Dovetail overalls. It's a really good women's workwear brand. And then, you guys, I've never found this brand before. I'm so excited. Hatch, woohoo! And then a lot of other stuff I need to just um, look up comps for. But so far, so good. All right, I have a full cart. I found a lot of good things today. I'm gonna sort through and see what I end up with, but yeah, it was a really good day. And I have been here for about four hours. Bluefish is a really good brand. This is the, the last thing I found. It is time to go home, I'm exhausted. All right, $58. I got two full Ikea bags, basically. It's been a while since that has happened, but super, super good finds today. Some baby stuff for the baby. I've been wanting to try these sleep suits. Well, I mean, since Marlo was a baby, but anyways, stay tuned for the haul. I have some good stuff. Okay, let's jump into this haul. This was a really great trip to the men's. I have been waiting for a day like this for a while. Um, it was just a really fun day. And I found a few brands that I have been like manifesting, finding at the bins and it finally happened. Um, I have been also jumping into the new rotations. Normally I would wait for everyone to do their thing and then I would jump in, but I've been brave. <laughs> I've been waiting at the line for the new bins and I found some really good stuff actually. So I'm going to try to keep doing that and just see if, I continue to find stuff, um, but I still do believe that digging all the way to the bottom and taking your time is the way to go because so many items are missed and they're just crumpled up into little balls and you pull them out and it's like Anita Bing or something like that. So I love taking my time and looking at every single item, but the past two weeks I have gone in and I have found some really good things. So 
Anyways, let's jump into it. I'm going to start with things that I got for myself and my family first, as always. This is just a little sleep sack. I've been wanting to try these. Um, I wanted to try them with Marlo, but I never got to it. So finding this, I, I'm like, yeah, this is a great way to try it to see if this baby will like it. So I got that. Um, these used to resell actually pretty dang well, um, pretty quickly, but not so much anymore. Maybe like 15 bucks. I used to be able to flip them for maybe like 30 to 40. Um, this is another sleep sack. The nested bean. It has like a little weighted <laughs> little egg guy that will sit on their chest to kind of like comfort them. Um, heard good things about this as well. So I wanted to try the, this guy. Um, but these do resell for a good amount as well. So if these things don't end up working out for me, or I mean for the baby, <laughs> not for me, then I will be reselling them. Um, I got some American Eagle shorts for myself. Nice little like olive green comfy postpartum shorts. And then my husband, I just found these Hurley kind of like golf shorts. So that is what I got for my fam. I love finding things from the bins for everyone because it's all things that we sometimes don't need, but sometimes we are like looking for and it saves us so much money. So my favorite thing is especially baby clothes or baby items. It's just amazing. You have to dig for it. You have to do the work, but when you find it, it's always worth it. Okay, the rest will be for reselling um, on my eBay or Poshmark. If you are new here, that is what I do. I go to the bins and I find things to flip online for a profit. That is my full-time job. I'm a stay-at-home mom, so this is what I do on the side to bring home money for my family. We are a dual-income household, so everything I make... Um, by reselling goes towards bills, family, food, all the things. So yeah, it's my job. <laughs> so these things are um, all listed and all for sale. So the first up is Halara, Oop. which honestly it does not retail for very much at all. And I've only sold it a couple other times, but when I did find it new a tag, it did sell very quickly. This is an olive green kind of tie faux wrap dress. It's really cute. Probably maybe 20, 15 to 20 for that guy. <clears throat> this is a Beyond Yoga. Yes, uh, what size is this? I think it's a medium. It is just a workout tank with a low open back, twisted kind of straps, so cute. Maybe like 20 for that guy. I did find new tag Joe's jeans, which I do not normally pick up Joe's, honestly, but these were new tag. They are men's um, straight and narrow, the Brixen. They are 31 length and they are salvage denim. So Japanese denim, new tag. <laughs> so these were in a new rotation. I picked them up. Salvage denim, you can see this guy right here. Um, Probably not much for these, not as much as I was anticipating, but still picking them up at the bins and selling them for 40 to 50 would be amazing. Not the best sell-through rate for Joe's either, but I'm hoping that since they're new, um, that they will sell pretty quickly. This is a brand called Fair Harbor. Let me see if I can find. Oh, I, oh there it is. Fair Harbor. These are just men's swim trunks. They are made so nicely. Just super, super good quality swim trunks. I thought that these would be buku bucks, but they're not really. I think maybe $30 I could get for these, but they are really nice. Um, a size 36. And I think they did retail for quite a bit, maybe in the $80 range. Um, but those are a new to me brand, fun little find. I did find quite a few men's items. This is 01 All Go. It's just a men's like Henley short sleeve top. Probably a 19 to maybe 25 for this guy. This is Michael Stars, which I definitely don't pick up as much as I used to, but this is a newer style. I love this color, really good for spring and summer. And it has this cute little terry cloth sleeve. 
I love a short sleeve sweater. Um, personally and reselling wise, they do pretty well. It's a size large, probably like 15 to 20 for that guy. This is the Surf Journal. It's just a men's kind of surfer clothing line. This is just a graphic tee from them. I thought it was really cool. Had a distressed look, lived in look, maybe like 15 for this guy. A lot of bread and butter items, but a few really, really good ones. This is just a kids national baseball jersey. It's from 2001 all-star game. Um, I, my husband had one of these and I ended up reselling it for, I think like $225. It has a blank, it had a blank black. <laughs> my husband's had a blank back as well. So a lot of people like that because they can customize it. You take it to the stadium, whatnot, and they can put your last name on the back or whatever last name of the player that you want on the back. Um, this will probably only sell for like 30 to 40 since it's kids. Um, Next we have Brooks Brothers, which I don't normally pick this brand up, but I have two pieces of theirs in this haul that I'm trying out. I just want to see how they do if they're priced on the lower end. So this will be listed like $21.99 and we will see how it does. I liked the color. I liked the window pane print. And it's just in really good condition. So I'm anticipating the selling hopefully soon before it gets too deep into summertime because this is definitely like a fall piece. I feel like I'm hoping that that will sell. Okay, this is the first really good brand that has been on my bucket list for a long time. And I finally found it. Um, and then actually I'm, I'm filming this haul like two weeks after I found this item. Um, but I did just find another piece from this brand at a regular thrift store when I was visiting my family and just really exciting. <laughs> Anyways, here it is. It's Hatch Maternity. This is a cute little dress. It's so cute. It's like a midi gauzy dress. The only thing is it has a bunch of snags only at the back, you can see right here. So I did note that in the listing and I'm gonna go through and try to um, fix these to make them look a little bit better. Um, but even if I cut all the snags off or you know try to tuck them back in, you're still gonna be able to see that, you know, there is a little bit of a flaw. And But you can only see that from far away. There's another little snag. Yeah, so it, it does have a flaw, sadly. <laughs> But I, I still think I can get maybe 40 to 50 for it. If this was in good condition, I probably could have got maybe 75. Next is J. Crew. It is J. Crew Factory. Those little diamonds on the bottom right here. But this is a newer style and it is so perfect for spring. Look at that. It's like a rainbow ombre stripe. I love it. It's so cute. Is a size small. I have this one up for I think 30 based off of what others have sold at of that specific style. Next is a brand I am done picking up, I think. <laughs> Adidas, Stella McCartney. Maybe I will pick up their newer pieces if they even make them anymore. I don't even know if they do. But these are just a pair of women's joggers, like a cropped, um, extra small, kind of like a pleated front pant. They are cute in really good condition, but I will probably only get like $15 for these, which yeah, I should have ran my comps a little bit better before I did that. Next up is so cute. <laughs> it is a Peanuts Rain Spooner collab. Look at this little dress, you guys. It's so precious. Calabunga with a little surfing Snoopy. How cute is this? Um, they make a men's shirt as well in the same print. So how precious would it be to match like grandpa and granddaughter or something like that? Anyways, this is a 4T and I have it up for, I think I have it up for 40. I didn't know what to price this at because there weren't many in the girls dresses. There were a lot of kids t-shirts <clears throat> in this style, but I'm hoping to get around that price. It has a few watchers already. So that is cute. 
Next is Athleta. I like picking up their newer style pants. These are just a really cute kind of pull on jogger, but they are fleece lined. So a little extra warmth. They are a size 12, probably about 30 for these. This was a cute find. This is Weekend Max Mara. Weekend by Max Mara. They are a size, what size are these? A US six. They are just a high rise, like army green. Look at the pockets, so cute. And they're cropped like a straight, or maybe that's kind of a wide leg, but they are so cute. I love them so much. Um, I have not had much luck with Weekend by Max Mara, but I think with a newer, more on trend style like these that they should do pretty well. I'm hoping for 40 to 50 for those. Next is Reformation. So I don't find this brand often, but it's so exciting when I do. This is a 100% alpaca like turtleneck sweater. It's ribbed, it's so soft and cozy. I think it's an extra small if I'm not mistaken. I think they're jammed. They're a small. Mommy. What, baby? Jammy pants. Oh, they're jammy pants? <laughs> oh, they would be cozy, huh? Marlo is in here with me. She's coloring while I'm doing a haul video. <laughs> now you know. Um, so yeah, this, um, anything 100% alpaca in Reformation, the sell-through rate was uh, not exactly 100% but they were selling at a higher price. So I'm hoping to get 50 to 60 for this guy. Next is Mountain Hardware, which is a brand that I'm giving another shot. <laughs> I used to pick this brand up quite a bit, but I'm kind of dabbling and picking up more men's items from them because I guess women's too. I recently picked up a new tag, uh, Mountain Hardware's women's pullover, and it sold within like three days. So that was very shocking to me. So I'm gonna try it out again to see how they do, especially during the summertime. It's a great hiking outdoor like clothing line, and it's pretty reasonably priced. So if I can find it at the bend, <coughs> I'm hoping to get, whoa, bless you, um, $24.99 ish for this guy. And it's a men's, I think it's a 2XL, or it's an XL, so great size. Next is Miss Eileen Fisher. I think this is an extra small, yeah. Extra small linen blend, like pull on midi skirt. So cute. Probably like 25 for this. That looks like one I have. Yeah, <laughs> it's cute. This was a great find. This is CP Shades. It's a super cute like tunic top. Look at it. I actually think this was a dress, a dress or a tunic top, either one. And I think it is 100% linen. If I can remember, let me check. 100% linen, it's a size small. It is so cute, I love it. This I have up I think for 65. So that was a great find. That was in a new bin. So when I am going into the new rotations and I'm pulling stuff out like that, that's what makes me want to continue to wait. Next is Beta Brand, which is not my favorite brand to pick up anymore. I used to pick this up even at the regular Goodwills, um, but now I strictly am a bins finder of Beta Brand, if that makes sense. Um, if I can keep the cost low, then I'm willing to pick them up. These will probably only sell for $20 and it may take a little bit. The sell through rate is not as good as they once were. I remember picking those things up and they would sell like hotcakes a couple years ago, but that is not the case anymore. This is a brand called Social Tourist, which they sell at Hot Topic, I learned. These are in really good condition. They're just like a tie-dye sweatpant. And they are, I don't know if they're made. It's its these two girls, I think they're YouTubers. Charlie D'Amelio, I think that's who they are. I think my sister, my younger sister watches them or something. But this is their clothing line that was sold at Hot Topic. So 
Um, selfie rate was okay. I should probably get maybe 25 for these, maybe 20, but they are like brand new and super cozy. If they don't sell soon, then I'm going to keep them for myself. <laughs> this is a Tory Burch one piece swimsuit. It's kind of hard to show, but it has a plunging neckline and it's a beautiful navy blue size medium, cute little Tory like logos on the the little hangy things. Um, this I have up for 50. I'm hoping to get between 35 and 40. Here's the other Brooks Brothers. It's a women's top, which I have not dabbled in women's tops from Brooks Brothers, but I thought this was so cute and would be really great for spring. Like a pair of white pants, very like coastal, um, just super cute. Oh, for somebody else. Yeah. But these, they have little cuff links, so that's pretty fancy. <laughs> um, I have this up for $24.99. We will see what we get for that. I think that it has a watcher or two already, so that's nice. Yes? That, that looks cute. It does, huh? That's yeah. why I picked it up. Thank yeah, you. I'm glad you think it's cute. Oh, that's really cute. This is really cute? Yeah. Would you wear this? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is a... Oh, yeah, kind of. Like also like when it was a kid all the time. Oh. And the mama wears it. I yeah, I agree. This is a new attack hot topic. Cosmic Aura is the brand. Um I only picked this up because it's new with tag. It's very gothic inspired, very vampire vibes, but it has this cuper <laughs> cuper, this super cute fringe at the bottom. And this only retailed for, I think, 35 so I'm hoping to get maybe 20 for this. This has quite a few watchers as well. Next brand is Able, which is a great brand. Um, this is a more basic piece by them, but it's just a cute little pullover v-neck sweater. This has like a kind of like a balloony sleeve, not a full balloon, but like a half balloon. Oh, there's a fuzzy. Um, it's a size large. It's super cute. If it doesn't sell soon, I might keep this one as well, but great brand. I have never found this brand before. And when I saw the tag, I was so intrigued. I was like, I've seen this before. I need to look it up. I almost passed it, um, passed on it, but this is the brand label again, but yeah. I love that too. You love it too? Okay. We have a few more and then we're done with this haul. That was pretty quick. Marlo likes everything I picked up. That is so sweet. This is Royal Robins, just a women's button up kind of outdoorsy top, size medium. I should probably get maybe 20 for this, I'm guessing. Definitely um, Royal Robin does do fairly well for me, especially if it's in great condition and a newer style. But this I think will definitely sell really quick for that $20 mark. You love it? Okay, this is the last item. This is a great bolo brand. It's called Blue Fish, and it's very art to wear, lagging and looky. This is like a tunic painter's smock, and they usually have just like um, like a painted stamp. They're all like handmade, and I don't know if they're you know they only make one of each style. I haven't done much research on this brand, but. Definitely a great brand. This I have up for, I think 80, just because it has a little bit of sun fading. You can kind of see it. In some spots it has some sun fading. Um, but overall, some of their styles can go for a really good amount, like over a hundred. Paint ones can get like paint as well, and that one and paint. Yeah, it would look cool, huh? This is definitely an artist, you know, I'm imagining super cool art teacher or someone who owns like an art gallery or some sort of like organic body lotion shop. <laughs> All sorts of people. I'm just, this is just a really fun, fun brand. But and, anyways. And even coloring girls. Coloring girls? Yes, coloring girls. Yeah. All right, that will do it for this haul video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for hanging out with me. Um, hope you got some work done and maybe learned a few new brands that you haven't heard of before. As always, thank you so much for being here. Please subscribe if you have not subscribed yet and you would like to. I love hanging out with you guys. I will see you on the next one and I hope you have a great day.